to start talking? Yeah, well, let's, let's start talking now. Um, hey, everybody. This is another uh, IGC LOL Games cast. With, I'm Helix. up here with my good friend, Cobalt Kicker. Cobalt, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Most people won't know this as another. They'll just see that it says the first, by well, the way. They, well, we can do a little background. Maybe we I, we may have tried this, and due to one of our laziness uh, that never really got put onto YouTube. or uh, maybe, Your laziness, may, in fact. Maybe I was unsatisfied with the end result. Maybe. And whose fault is that? At, yeah, that's mine. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Team Comp. All right, so Team Comps. We got, uh, oh, wait, I'm doing the this 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 time. Or we can have the directed camera do the magic for us. Yeah, we'll just stick it on directed camera. I apologize in advance for if it doesn't actually work out. So, Blame directed camera. Team basic is uh is going to be the team representing IGC this time. So we're going to be cheering for the purple team. Um, team basic over here. Go blue team. Woo! Oh, screw you, man. Um, let me try to see how to do this. There we go. So the purple team up here, we got in the, in the bottom lane, we have Tarek and Draven. What do you think of the Tarek Draven lane? Derek Draven, really powerful. Stun, smash him with the axe. I like it. Yep. It, Shatter. Always, uh... Ooh, wait, he's rocking the manly pink Tarek. So, I think this is going to dominate. Yeah, you, you always love the uh, the pink Tarek. It's it is it's probably the best Tarek skin. It's definitely the best Tarek skin. Except maybe that green skin that you rock. That's a pretty good one, too. Because that is a dollar skin. <laughs> right there, it was a dollar. Pick uh, up uh, Emerald Tarek. Yep, their opponents is... Uh, Al Alistair Misfortune. What do you think about that? Uh, you don't see Alistair support uh, much anymore. He's kind of fallen out and typically jungle at this point. But jungle's uh, turning out too bad for Alistair, so I guess he's going to support again. I guess so. Misfortune really strong uh, lately. She gets Black Cleaver. She's one of the few AD carries uh, today that gets Black Cleaver still. OP as shit when it first came out, and uh, it's calmed down a bit so that Misfortune is one of the only good ones with it. Yeah, Misfortune has that really cool... Um... Double up? Well, yeah, double up. It'll, it'll, it'll pop Black Cleaver, but her ultimate, the first wave of her ultimate pro pro uh, procs all six stacks of Black Cleaver, I think. No so, way. Yep, yeah, so that's why like a lot of these people have been rocking Misfortune lately. Yeah, that makes sense. And the... Uh... The Misfortune of Moomoo is a pretty, com pretty um, common combo. I guess Moomoo must have been banned. This was a solo queue game. Moomoo was one of those permanently banned champions. Are you sure this is solo queue? Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's not solo queue. Excuse me. <laughs> it's, it's ranked queue, or team queue. So there were bans involved, is what I meant to say. Draft pick. Yes, draft pick. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm having trouble with the audio. I don't hear it, do you? No, we're not supposed to. Oh, wait, you mean the game audio? Yeah. Dude, I fucking know. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Well, let's just let's keep going. Let's keep going. See what happens. All right. Bottom. Hopefully, hopefully the recording has it. Yeah, I'm assuming the recording will. Um, probably not knowing my luck. This Whatever. Is... Only people need to hear is our beautiful, beautiful voices. That's true. We do have some pretty sexy voices. I've been told by myself. Um. So mid middle lane. I'm gonna jump over to middle lane here. Middle middle lane. We have LeBlanc versus Akali. What do you think about that matchup? Uh, I think that's gonna go in Akali's favor because. Uh, I think with the with the shroud, with her shroud, she can probably survive the combo burst or interrupt it so that the burst doesn't go off as good. Or we can just watch her dominate or <laughs> chunk of her half health right there. Yeah, Akali definitely. I feel like we'll have a little bit more utility late game in the laning phase. It can really go either way. Akali, once she hits six, will actually be able to trade with LeBlanc a little bit better. I don't know, dude. That silence. That's true. That's yeah. I didn't. I, I forgot that sigil silence. Oh, mm -hmm. Top lane, we got a gank here coming down. Really successful gank, actually. My, this Malkai came in at the right time, getting the red. Will the red buff get him? Red buff will get him. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be, start spiraling uh, top lane out of control. Zed, Zed. Well, let's, let's talk about. I guess we can start talking a little bit about top lane. Zed's a pretty good snowball champion. So that early gank from Malkai. I like his red pajamas. He does have some pretty cool red pajamas. Uh, his Shockblade skin is actually really, really cool. Yeah. I, I like it a lot. Kind of, I like it a lot better than his uh, classic skin, personally. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was that was lovely. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, Zed versus Kha'Zix. Yeah, so um, Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix is a really strong laner against really squishy people. Zed can Zed is not as actually a squish and he Zed's squ um, squishy compared to a lot of top laners, but he's not like a AP carry squishy. 
And he has like a really good escape mechanic. So he also doesn't have a mana bar. Yes, that's all. Having the energy is also is also really nice. So I feel like that 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 especially with um that early gank now it's going to start spiraling unless mm. unless we see Sejuani. Um, Kazik already used teleport to get back to lane. Um, so he's not going to be threatening any other lanes anytime soon for that. That's true, true. Oh, little jump in. A little bit of misplay there from Zed. I think I didn't think he mean to teleport so soon. Uh, Bottom lane, we got a little bit of. Do you you know that from experience? Yes, because that this is in fact me playing Zed. So we're gonna we're gonna harp on how bad this Zed player is. Yeah, I'm he's sure. really shitty. Thank, thanks, Cole. I really appreciate it. You're that. welcome. This bottom lane, just taking, tra doing some damage back and forth. Tarek's mana bar is pretty low, but so is Misfortune. So I, I think the purple team is actually um, coming, at, making the best of this. And here comes another Maokai gang. Ooh, the Maokai. Ooh, didn't, didn't time that Beautiful. flash too well on Misfortune's part, but yeah. I think uh, this is gonna go double kill. Nope, there's the Alistair flash. Yeah, the uh, Draven getting a little bit low. Maybe he didn't want to go too 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 greedy in there. Try to tower dive. And uh, maybe feed another kill. Just playing it safe. It's all right though. He got got the kill on him. Or did Malkai? No, Malkai got that kill. Yep. Never mind. This Malkai is going to be beast for later. Um, as soon as he goes back, he's going to start destroying. But uh, right before Malkai showed up, they were when they were trading. Uh, purple team looked like they were coming out quite ahead for that. You know, ignoring uh, mana, just health was pretty uh, pretty in favor of purple. Yep. Yeah, so looks like. Let's go check out middle lanes. It, uh, let's, let's, what's the farm? We got 26 to 20. Let me rearrange this so you can actually see. Yeah, it. I don't know why you haven't done that sooner. I feel like I was intending to do that, and then I just didn't for some reason. Um, <laughs> oh, did I miss something? No. Okay. Is Malachi kill, get more kills? No, I think Malachi's going to die, though. Well, let's see here. You got, he's, he still has flash up. Yep. And there, oh, there he goes. He gets away. A lot of pink, pink wards going down. The pink fight, pink <laughs> battle. Yep, top lane here, Zed with that early gank. He already has his double Dorans. <sighs> Not doing too well on farm, um, but with the assist, doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, he's he's still winning. Ooh, fairy charm on Kazix. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Don't see that too often on Kazix. I guess he wants to... What does fairy charm build out of that's not Tier of the Goddess? Uh, you got Philo. You got Phoenix Codex. Yeah, he, he mm. might he might go Philo. Philo would make a little bit of sense if he's planning on staying in lane for a really long time. But mm. I don't see too. I, I mean, tier of the goddess into a man moon is possible. I, I don't see that very often on Kha'Zix. It's usually a um a rise or a or got. I, you I just don't. don't see a fairy charm on Kha'Zix at all. Yeah, I I, I question that that choice. I would have rather seen maybe like an, another long sword. Yeah, that middle probably lane. Worked. LeBlanc continuing to harass the Sakali. Le, LeBlanc out of out of mana, so I can't continue too much longer. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Bottom lanes put being pushed. Oh Terra coming in for another stun, another shatter. Not doesn't Ooh. look like they want to capitalize off that. With the headbutt right there. Um so looking at the looking at supports items, you got Alistair and Tarek with Philo. And then Tarek appears to be up a Reju bead. Just and has a couple wards on himself. Let's see, what What's the warding situation like? Doesn't look doesn't look like uh, or uh, blue team has any wards left down here, do they? No, there's the pink ward in the bushes there. Ah, yeah. So yep. they got that pink. They got they had that pink ward or that pink, that pink, that. Dab that, dab that. That I can't speak today. I apologize. So Juani doing like an uh, unsuccessful gank. Did get the flash out of out of uh, out of that Zed there. So yeah. I guess oh. it's reasonably successful. Tarek, Tarek harass. Tarek, ooh, ooh. Tarek bad play. Having, Having to burn the flash there, but Maokai's down here, so they might be trying to bait this a little bit. And oh, here comes Maokai. I, I thought they must not still see him. Here he comes. Draven's getting all getting a lot of damage off. Maokai taking the kill again. Maokai, that's a four no Maokai. <laughs> it's a scary Maokai. Here comes a Kali Only to kills try to clean up. I um, think she'll be able to get this. It, just a uh, ooh. Can she? She get, can. She can, can get she that get double there? kill. Jump and oh, ooh. didn't be able. Well, didn't have the mark, the mark of the assassin on. May have been on cooldown. If she had, if she had, if she had another Q up, that would have been a dead Tarek as well. No Looks like she was out of energy, actually. Oh, uh, was it? Was it? Okay, I think uh, she was out of energy. I was. I guess I wasn't observing. Uh -oh, Maokai coming around. back. Kali, will Kali be able to pick this up? I don't think she will. That Maokai, dude. Yeah, this is five and zero oh Maokai. This is scary Maokai. Top lane. Trading back and forth. Zed uses Zed uses ultimate and an ignite. Ooh, my I think the the uh, ultimate 
poof might kill him. Uh, no, nope. don't doesn't, doesn't. It already poof. poofed. I must say, yeah, it must already poof. Got a flash and an ultimate there, so they're back. They're pretty much on even terms. So Johnny, not having the greatest of games. Hasn't haven't seen her do, do too much of a successful gank anywhere so far. It's always been that Maokai. Yeah, that Maokai with five kills. He's probably gonna go back and buy. I don't even know. I I have no. I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not a Maokai player. Uh. Maka usually typically builds like straight tank. Straight tank. So. Straight tank. Oh, Kazakh's teleporting in, coming in, uh, taking down that Tarek. Not too well, but uh, he eventually goes down. Alistair falls. You got uh, Draven chasing after Sidrani. I don't think he's going to be able to take that kill, or prove. Nope. Nope. Not quite. The little. The, I think the greed got him there. I think he could have got away if he just turned and ran. Yeah. But see if the Malkai can get out alive. Kazakhs Maybe. with a jump, and the old from Misfortune is going to finally get a shutdown. That's 500 goal shutdown, too. So Misfortune, pretty well back in this game. But meanwhile, meanwhile Zed top lane, looks like he might, he's going to try to take this turret in response. Which is good, good play. I don't think he... Uh, my, my, I don't think he could have gotten down there in time to clean that up. Maybe if he backed immediately and they, it lasted a little bit longer. But I don't think so. He... Uh... What, but what kind of boots does he have right now? He looks like he has... Oh, he has boots, too. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Uh, I'd go with no. It's probably best to just take the tower, get a global thousand thousand yeah. gold. Get a uh, went with a, went with a good um. Oops, hit the wrong button. I apologize. What made made the better choice? I think. All right, come on, Director Kalen. There you me. go. All right, made the better choice to go ahead and get the uh, guaranteed objective down. Everybody back in their laning. Everybody back in their lane again. Looks like Misfortune's gonna go pick up Red Buff. Mm-hmm. Help her out a little bit more. What did she did she buy anything off of that uh off of that bag? Double uh, Thorns. Double Thorns and Berserker Greaves. I don't think she must have not gone back yet, because she still has fourteen hundred gold in her yep. pocket. Well uh I'm coming in. Uh oh, the gank on Tarek. I think he was shopping. <laughs> it's I I've caught been caught out many times, like what like uh chopping while I'm backing in a bush and it's costing my life, but it doesn't look like it's going to cost Purple Team's life now. Draven. Draven. Draven's getting out. Draven cl came close, but uh, that flash cleanse. Yeah, it will run flash cleanse. But LeBlanc looks like she's going to be able to sneak, be able to uh, clean this out. Uh oh, oh LeBlanc mind, messed up. <laughs> LeBlanc messed up her combo and uh, did a double chain. Kali coming in. It's going to hurt. Help clean up. Blue. Despite their rough start from blue side, it's uh, it's, they're they're definitely still. Kali flash going past the tower, coming after LeBlanc. There goes the Sidrani charge, doing the little swirly thing, still chasing after the LeBlanc. Oh. Yep. backing off, backing. And... See this uh, somebody coming in from the side to uh, maybe clean up on that, but apparently Director Camel wants us to see the uh, <laughs> tower go down. Maybe. Well, the uh, looks like Sidrani overstayed her welcome a little bit. Charge and... across, and the ignite finishes her off. Even though she cr charged across, yeah. that auto attack probably helped though. I, most certainly. Meanwhile, you see Zed Zed making the uh, making the big plays, letting his team die, and just getting another tower middle here. So all the time spent by blue team in in the bottom lane is is uh, opening up for, their, for these global objectives. So purple holding a good two thousand gold lead, a little bit less than two thousand gold lead. Dragon's um, still up. Yeah, dragon, dragon is I, I, dragon's up. So maybe that's Zed's here in middle lane. Maybe they're going to be uh, pushing, make trying to make a play on that soon. That's entirely possible. Here comes Akali uh, to rain on Zed's parade. Um, looks like Zed's just going to hang out at the tower, wait for it to get pushed up, then uh, start farming that. Yeah, but Zed, Zed with one of the was with very strong wave clear too. So he's he's going to be able to very good that. candidate for a two v one. Yeah, but that's that's the big thing about top lanes now. Ever since it, it, people. Figured out that you can start two v wanting um, characters like Riven and well, not so much Olaf. We'll we'll stick with Riven. Um, Riven and Aurelia are good examples. I don't, I don't think Aurelia does too bad. And here we are wrapped into another team fight that uh, Kazakh's got kind of obliterated. There, there goes a uh, Zed alt. Here comes the MF alt. MF alt going just great, fully charged on almost the entire purple team there. But it looks like purple team is just didn't look like it did anything. And this looks like the ace. Yeah, you see, purple team used that cliff right there, right there to their advantage. They, um, blue team didn't have any vision up here, and so, um, they kept they got they kept getting cut caught on this corner. Meanwhile, everybody everybody on the purple team, all on this cliff, was able to had full vision of the entire enemy team, which I think is why that was uh so one such a one sided fight. So mm -hmm, you got an that... ace and a dragon for nothing there. Yeah, that was a pretty big win by the purple team. 
the uh, the Zed and Maokai tanked uh, just about all their damage came from that came from blue team. Um, yeah, so I think they're gonna just gonna. I don't think they'll be able to push a tier two tower, but they'll at least be able to get this uh, this outer tower. You know, the co coordination from purple team here is uh, pre pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, they, it's almost uh, like they're on voice chat together. Yeah, this, it's it's you would think that they maybe they were on Skype discussing mm. this or something. Bad choice, Alistair. Yeah, probably best to have uh, let that tower fall. Here comes the Akali trying to clean something up, but Alistair done probably. Too much. Alistair went in thinking that maybe his team would be there to back him up, but Kha'Zix the teleport here. Ooh. Being a little bit greedy. Getting, Too uh, greedy. Getting fooled by the LeBlanc passive, actually. I've done that a couple times. Le... Check out that LeBlanc's health right now. LeBlanc's health is 50. 50, and mm -hmm. I bet her region, <laughs> probably, she was at 30, maybe? Probably. That was 30 good. health. Got out by the skin of her teeth, for sure. Oh, yeah. But if I think if Ka I think Kha'Zix had a Q, but he queued the uh, queued the wrong target. Que yeah, que queued the fake LeBlanc, which I've done before. I've ignited the fake LeBlanc before. It's kind of it's like when you ignite a Wukong, except even more embarrassing. You know what's even? I'll tell you what's the most embarrassing thing. Was that Viger ulting the LeBlanc clone? That's yeah. That's pretty bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> done that once. See, I don't play Viger for the reason of it. I know Viger is very good at blowing up one person, and I always end up trying to blow up the wrong person. It's I, fun, though. It, it is very satisfying to see a uh, monkey clone explode, I'm sure, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, but, let's... uh... See... Oh, we never, uh... See, who's winning, who's winning in skins? I think it's, uh... I think it's Purple Team here. There was, uh... There's Pink Taric, there's... Uh, Pink Magician Team. LeBlanc. And Soul Reaper Draven, right? Yep, that was... That was three. So, uh, looks like... So, we got Standard Misfortune... Standard Sejuani, Nurse Akali, uh -huh. who's good, standby. Standard Alistair, and Standard Kha'Zix. So yeah, looks like, um... Yeah, well, well, you know, that that's not really a standard Alistair. You got Unchained Alistair, which has become uh, kind of the standard. Yeah, but that Unchained Alistair skin looks so stupid. Yeah, exactly, which is why he's rocking the classic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I always Which rock. is a much better skin, and we'll uh, we'll count that as a plus one. So two to three two on to the three. skin war. Yeah, two to three. It was, it was close skin war. Yeah. Purple Team won Skin War. Uh, looks like they're gonna win the game. That just because of that, <laughs> not because of their, uh, not because of their five thousand gold lead. Six, well, five thousand, yeah. Just looking at it. So Kha'Zix did actually choose to do that, uh, that fairy charm into a uh, tier of the goddess and went cooldown reduction boots. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. I would, I would have. And Vamp Scepter. The Vamp Scepter is good. Well, I'm Vamp Scepter, tier of the goddess, and CDR boots. I, I don't know about that. I would have gone Brutalizer. Um, oh, yeah. with, instead of that tier, even it's it's a little bit different. It's about a five hundred gold increase, but the tier just doesn't really do. I don't think Kha'Zix ever has mana issues. Um, um, I mean, if you're spamming your abilities, he does, but I don't think he can work that uh that tier up too fast. So and blue looks like they may say oversay their welcome. That seven and one Maokai is just coming into gank, but being really uh, ooh, ooh. good. Sejuani old here into comes the a, MF ult into a good MF ult, yeah. Here comes the rest of the purple team. Uh, LeBlanc coming in to clean up. Takes down the Akali. Akali just melted. Yeah. Looks like uh, Sejuani's going to fall down soon. Yep. There mm -hmm. she goes. Uh, MF up next on the ballot. And then uh, there goes the Alistair Flash. I don't think he's going to make it out of this. There's, uh, there's a Zed coming after. Oh, there's that was the Maokai. And Kha'Zix just kind of jumps away because that's what he does. Well, yeah. I mean, that's probably the best choice. He probably wants to just abandon this tower, too. That's a Yeah. It's a pretty, it's a pretty scary team. They only got went uh, three, for, four for four for one, four for one. Yep. yep. And um, they're gonna get a, a tower out of this as well. It looks like. Yep. Another global thousand gold. Yep. So that that's that brings the lead to seven thousand. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit more than seven thousand. Yeah, I'm doing here the or there. That math is right, right? Yeah. Okay. Ten kills ahead. The math is right if I say it's right. <laughs> three towers. Ahead. I hate you sometimes. <laughs> Three towers ahead. 18 minutes in this game. Looking grim for purple team. They're definitely not out of it's it. It's looking grim for purple team, huh? It's blue team. Excuse me. Always um, gonna make me look stupid. Yeah, uh, I mean, I purple team can always throw the game by getting aced or getting too penisy and uh, running in solo, so. This Kali looks like she might be able to get away. Doing the soul shroud jukes into a flash. Flash, and then she did a couple jumps to uh, get across the map. Looks like, uh, I don't think she's going to make it. She, yeah, she got caught. She I, I, I think if she went up this way, she would have been okay. If she kept running. 
Yeah, she, she made kept it. on running. But she stopped in that uh, river rush. So. Yeah. So, right. Bad. Come on, direct your camera. Take it back over. Thank you, sir. Yay, direct your <laughs> camera. <laughs> Curse yeah. five second delay between going back to direct your camera. I mean, who does it think we are? <laughs> Patient or American? <laughs> My fast food is not fast enough. Mm hmm. So. 718 is the score coming up on 20 minutes um ooh Kazi just ju got chunked for half uh well, if two spells yep <laughs> LeBlanc also used her ultimate but didn't get to proc the uh the ultimates the ultimate uh, second the ultimates part. yeah which if she let off with the ultimate first then did her Q uh I would have done even more damage it probably chunked him for three fourths his health well, maybe, but maybe. then again she probably didn't have uh her yeah, Q set up for the ultimate. So. Yeah, it could have been. Alright, looks like a purple team timed that dragon pretty well. Right there, right there, right when it was spawning. Mm -hmm. Get another Never. another jump of the lead, and we're now now closing up to almost 8,000. Uh, no, it's 8.1. 8. Zadrani will have to be burned just to escape there. Draven, Draven bottom lane looks like he's going to get caught by, uh, caught by Alistair in Misfortune here and see if he'll be able to get away. Uh, he stands a chance of taking. Oh, he's going to turn and fight. He's, he's, he's doing it. He's, he's doing it. Strong. He, he might be able to get away with that. Nope, not going to be too greedy. Gets away with, gets away with, the, uh, with not dying, but didn't quite get the misfortune. Had to burn his ult. True. How, what's the cooldown on that ult? I don't think it's too long. Uh, it's kind of mid-range. Uh, not too long, but it's not short. And the rest of the purple team is spawning pretty well, immediately coming out, trying to catch people out. Looks like they're going to catch this Kali out. Zed ult burned. Trying, just to, kind trying of to find that invisible Kali. They're just throwing out <laughs> skill shots, hoping they'll uh, get a Kali. And they actually did pretty well uh, hitting her. And she falls. Yep. One, song of, or one Song of Silence will take her out. Sigil uh, of Silence. Sigil of Silence. <laughs> Alistair, Alistair having, having to burn his ult. Tanks for, tanks for a pretty long time, able to get Misfortune to full, uh, full charge of her ult off, bringing out several members of Purple pretty low. Mm -hmm. Their yeah. carry's doing carries pretty low except Draven yep. but he's low on mana so he couldn't uh, so he's not going to be able to keep up uh yep. stand asides or his attack speed steroid yeah so it looks like a uh, purple team just going to steal the red run play, away play it safe just take the red and run away oh although getting caught out here and so that's all the way all the way in mid this might not be the best most advantageous fight here for purple team especially with that Maokai like, going in hardcore i keep forgetting how fed that Maokai is eight kills now 12 assists Ooh, eight kills Eight kills on Maokai, not a single damage item build. <laughs> yep, he's go he's gone pure tank. Oh, misfortune face checking that bush. Maybe not, may not have been the bad call, idea. MF. But uh, she gets, gets a kill out of it. Gets the shutdown on Maokai. That may have been mm -hmm. another five hundred gold shutdown on, on misfortune. Kali trying to clean up here. Oh yeah, I think that's another five hundred gold. It has to be. He died around five kills. Yeah, he died at five kills, and then... so that's a oh, that's just another three kills killing spree. Then I think it's a it's five now for the full full after after the most recent patch, I believe. Yeah. Zed doing a little bit, bit of taunting there, maybe a little bit of a little bit of bad manner on his part. Oh, he has no. Such cool animations though. <laughs> look at that! Look at that dance! Just look at it! Look how cool that is. Okay. I okay. interrupted it. Yeah, he's getting a little bit a little bit greedy there. <laughs> Looks like not, nothing's gonna come around. Everybody, purple, purple team just holding their middle uh, middle turret there. Okay, let's uh let's look at the builds for. Look at builds real quick. Uh, let's see, Rune and Bulwark came out from Mokai. Uh, Sidrani's work just got her Giant's Belt. Probably going to build that into a uh, Sig her Stone of the Ancient Golem, like Maokai. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, Bloodthirster on Kha'Zix. Still building that tier. Probably should uh, upgrade it to Mana Moon as fast as he can so he can at least start working on the auto attack stacks. Because I don't think he can get it up fast enough with his uh, abilities only. Um, Alistair, just a regular old Sightstone. Got a Kindle Gem, a Philo Stone, and an Emblem of Valor. Nothing nothing too good coming out from him, but his ultimate's really good, so he should be able to tank things with that. We got Bloodthirster and Double Doran on MF. She's working on her Brutalizer, her, uh, her Black Cleaver. Got every component, just needs that uh, last piece of it. Our last uh, combined yeah, bonus thing. Combine. Yeah. Uh, Fast Leandry's on Akali. Um, interesting. Huh. Same same build coming out on uh, on LeBlanc, although she's going uh, 
going with the needlessly large rod. Uh, interesting call. Probably wouldn't have built that myself first, but uh, here's me working. I would, I would like to see a colleague maybe get a giant spell to get a couple pieces of a uh, Rhylize Crystal Scepter, Scepter, but maybe she thinks she needs more damage instead of more tankiness. I, I don't know. Uh, she gets health from the Leandries, and then she's got the sustain coming from the Revolver, so not too bad. Uh, she's doing decent damage, but her team's kind of lagging behind. It's She's kind of attempting to backpack at this point, but it's not working. Yep. Got a... Got a Bloodthirster and Static Shiv on Draven. He's uh, he's doing pretty well for himself, rolling in the does, but not as much as that Mokai. That Mokai. Not beats... Oh, it's LeBlanc. A, uh, LeBlanc is six and zero actually. Is she? Yeah, she's six and zero. Why? We, I haven't been paying attention very well. I'm really nope. bad casting. Neither have I. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty beast. Uh, LeBlanc. I don't think she's gonna fall off before the end of the game. See, even late game, LeBlanc can still blow can still blow up someone. This is the problem is she can only blow up one person. Mm-hmm. Then she has to run away. Yeah, and then she has to run away. And it's not too dissimilar to Kha'Zix. The difference is Kha'Zix can jump can jump when it has that so many times the trolley reset jump. So look at the the money difference. Looks like every member of the uh, of purple team has at least a two thousand. Gold, gold lead with the exception. Well, actually, Misfortune's keeping up really, keeping up Draven really well. Mm -hmm. She's just kind of. It could be the fact that Draven's she hasn't finished gotten... any items. Really, that'd probably be it. Well, she has a she has a brutalizer or a bloodthirster. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, all right, so we see uh, purple team trying to set up for the uh, try to sneak a little ba sneak a Baron here. Maybe not the b best decision. I don't think they're sneaking it anymore. Yep. Here Ooh, comes the MF ult. Fully charged MF ult on that. Ooh. Purple team is just kind of melting, but uh, I think their superior damage may prevail in the end. So that Akali is uh, working real hard on that. All right, one uh, one mo one super fed Mokai left. <laughs> Let's see how well he does against two members. One of which is a Kazix. He's uh, they're using every ability they possibly can on him. Here comes the uh, oh, the. Is he the flash and the Shirelli Z away? He might be able to do it. I think he's going to get away here. He might get away. Kazix. Yep. Try to use his missiles, it just barely gets away. So that's a that was a four for two. Not the most advantageous fight for Purple, especially considering that they were so far ahead. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the best call on that Baron. There's always time to throw. Because there is always time to throw. So Yep, waiting on the respawn timers. Uh Kazakh's kinda probably lingering a lot around longer than he should, but uh he's quickly leaving after after taking a Wraith Camp. Um, yeah, after that back, I uh, saw Zed picking up his Black Cleaver, so he's Black Cleaver um, Bloodthirster. He's going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage now, especially combined with uh, especially and he's going to assist Draven a lot since he has um, do, doing the uh, Black Cleaver armor shred. Yep. They're, um, purple team still ahead. Yeah, up by at least seven k. So yeah, still, still very, still decently far ahead in gold. Mm -hmm. Still ahead in towers. Okay. Uh, let's look at farm real quick. Uh, let's see. Zed's Zed's up by about ten. Uh, Alistair's up by eight. <laughs> uh, let's see. Misfortune Draven fairly even, and then Akali's up by forty on uh, on LeBlanc. But then again, LeBlanc has four kills on Akali. So yeah, LeBlanc definitely not known known for being able to farm the minions too well. Is very good at farming champions though, which as she as you can see, she's been doing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh back to the weird ass Kazakh's build. We got Tear of the Goddess, Chain Vest, Sheen, C D uh let's see, that looks like Distortion or Yeah, this this distortion. Distortion boots and Bloodthirster. I don't know what this Kazakh is doing. I maybe he's trying to go um Frozen Fist. The Frozen Fist, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Well, could be. Purple team, after seeing that a uh, bunch of people being chased around up top there, they went ahead and just took another dragon for free, mm -hmm. pu pu pulling further and further ahead. Kha'Zix picking up, the, picking up the blue team's blue. Uh, Do me a favor and mouse over that uh, Kha'Zix tier of the goddess and see how well he's doing. He's got 640 to 750. Not bad. Not bad. 28 minutes and he's almost got it at full. I just don't know. If on just abilities. On just abilities. I don't... I don't I would have rather seen him gone ahead and picked up the... Brutalizer first? 
the well even even if he didn't get the brutalizer go ahead do, do the long sword and get the mana mood upgrade so to at least take that make that mana and turn it into attack damage you know yeah get it up as fast as it can cuz mana i mean i i very i'll say it again i don't think Kha'Zix has much mana issues so nope i mean the the spines are is a fairly low cost and the uh and his q the slashy thingy <laughs> his um what is I don't play like Kha'Zix. He has the jumpy thingy, he has the OP uh, spine thingy, and then he has the slashy thingy. Taste their fear. That's the slashy thingy. That's the slashy thingy? Yeah. All right. I don't play Kha'Zix either, so I don't know. Even the champions that I do know, I don't actually know what they're called. I just call them QW and E. QW and E? Yeah. And, and Ultimate. Mm. Purple Team looks like they're trying to bait another Baron. I don't know if they want to go ahead and follow through that, considering how that, how that ended last time. Looks like they're, they're agreeing and going ahead and backing off. Let's see, Draven picked up another BF sword, so I bet he's going to turn this into an Infinity Edge. Uh, although Zephyr probably wouldn't be... No, wait. Mercurial Blade. Yeah, your Mercurial Blade, yeah. Yeah, Mercurial Sword. Um, But he has Cleanse himself, so... Uh, probably not going to go into the Mercurial Sword, so Infinity Edge it is. Or two Bloodthirsters. That'd so, be cool. Two blood, I, I've seen people doing double, double and a couple people even triple Bloodthirsters just, just because Draven scales so well off attack damage, but the trick is you got to be able to carry those axes really well. Be able to manage three or four, three, uh, juggling three axes. Mm -hmm. All right, so pr blue team coming in for the uh, for the push, and looks like it's going to be a siege for now. Um, looks like I've seen, seen some retreat pings. They're going to go ahead and back out. Maybe didn't know it was a, uh, that Zed was all the way top, or all, yeah, didn't I just... see him. They, I feel like they could have sieged for a little while because that's just now arriving in the middle lane. Right. Uh, if with that retreat, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, bottom lane's pushed pretty hard, so it... yeah. We got Draven just gonna go ahead and cl clear out that bottom lane. All right, Zed coming up on Kha'Zix. Uh, I think they could. I think Zed could one v one Kha'Zix. It's into, it's probably probably in Zed's favor, although. Maybe this Kha'Zix knows something I don't, and that weird build is particularly awesome. Though, I doubt it. Yeah, he does. I feel like he doesn't spam abilities quite enough to get to take full advantage of the Sheen, but maybe. Maybe it's something that I don't know. I'm just, I am I don't play Kha'Zix. Well, his his Q is a, about a three second cooldown, so he he can spam it, keep up with his uh, with his Sheen. So it's not, it's not a bad choice, just I don't think it's the best. He could have gone with something else. And probably turned out better. Probably. All right, so he's got a couple people backing on both sides here. Looks like no, nothing of too much consequence. Purple team just take. They know they they know they have a substantial lead, so they're not trying to do anything too risky. Just build on their advantage. Kazakh's level seventeen on his team, highest level. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, Pink ward goes down for purple team, although they're not going to ward clear. Got a. Um, Alistair picking up that oracle, so he's going to clear out these wards too. I yep. think, think we're going to start a Baron dance here pretty shortly. I love the Baron dance. Right, uh, right now, right there next to the Dragon Tango. <laughs> I feel like I should have had a witty comeback for that, but I, I just, I couldn't think of one. It was too good. It was, yeah, you just, yeah, did yourself there. Yep. The Dragon Tango. What about the Dragon Mamba? The Dragon Mamba. Yeah. I like the Dragon Tango better. Dragon Tango Mamba. Dragon Mambo, Dragon Tank. But we'll, do, we'll, we'll decide we'll just, that later. We'll decide that later. Right, right now, we, we have these, these teams each, each clearing each other's wards, trying to get trying to get one catching out of the, uh, one catching the other team out of the out of position. Though I think if Purple just went straight in and fought, they could. Uh, Looks which like is they're, exactly what they're going to be doing. Yep. Malkai onto the Kali Zed ult coming out. Yep, Zed, MF Zed. ult coming out. Ooh, Instantly canceled. stunned and destroyed. Both carries <laughs> down for Blue Team. Although Kazakh's doing his uh, doing his workout, taking out the Draven and uh, jumping out. So Juani falls to Tarek. And that, I mean, it is the pink Tarek. Manly Tarek. So that's a that was a three for three for one. Looks like yeah. Three for one in favor of purple. Um, purple still up double the kills, but uh, only ten k gold. Purple all have. Still all have pretty good health now, so they could either dive or siege his turret or maybe even go for Baron. Looks like they're gonna Ooh, Alistair sticking around dive. a little too long. Whoa. It instantly melts. Alistair melted even though he has it actually doesn't have that much defense. Uh just looks like he's working on his Aegis of the Legion. 
Uh, finally got that Ruby Sight Stone, and he has his Shiralalas. Uh, let's see. We got MF with her Black Cleaver finished, and a Zeal um, still behind that Draven with his... Uh, yeah, well, he's about Wait. the same. Draven, Draven also has... Nope, never mind. Nope, there. Only has that's the same. Yeah, so the, Two completed items and then one half-finished item. Yeah, so in that MF doing a good job keeping up with Draven. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty good MF. Able to keep up with uh, with Draven even though they're up... Or they're losing by half. So Ooh, Maokai coming in, snaring that at Kha'Zix. Tries to jump away, but gets caught by uh, the LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Mm-hmm. So that's the... Uh, even, anti-aircraft LeBlanc. Anti- <laughs> uh, yeah. That, yeah. I've I've been killed. I can I can understand the pain that that uh, that that Kha'Zix just went through because I've been killed while I was jumping with uh, with um, Tristana plenty of times and it's yeah. or the Corky or, Corky jump too. Yeah, they don't. It, you would think it makes you untargetable, but it really doesn't. So mm-hmm. with that kill on Kha'Zix, purple team immediately going jump going right towards Baron. But here comes Blue to defend it. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to do much. Oh, Tarek, Tarek so, caught by that. Oh, MF ult coming out, melting the Draven. Draven. Gets a dive by Akali. Akali gets snared. Takes out a, takes out the Draven, but falls right after. Uh, Zed going pretty low. Twenty, twenty low herself. Alistair just kind of, just kind of running around. Pops his Shrelias. Maokai jump and uh, up to purple team to just clean up now. Yep. So. I, if I feel like if Sojani's ult was caught more than just Tarek, that could have gone a lot better because MF had. The exact it looks like purple made the exact same mistake of being in a perfect cone. Like you don't you don't want to fight a, a misfortune in the Baron pit. Mm-hmm. So misfortune being got it, getting the full charge of her ultimate off on the entire team. If Tarek did, or excuse me, if, if that Sejuani ult had just gone better, uh, I think that would have that would have been a blue team victory. Yeah, I feel like blue would have got, would have come out. Ooh, hundred to zero. Uh, that Kha'Zix just caught out um, caught out and uh, he melted. That's that's a uh, that's fed Mokai. <laughs> Zed's not Zed's not doing too bad for himself either. Ten and one. Ten, ten and one, two hundred sixty farm. Yep. Doing... It's, it just looks like that Draven's holding him back, but uh he's not by no means is he uh doing bad. There goes oh, the surrender vote. Here is the surrender vote, yep. At thirty six minutes. Uh let's see. Looks like Purple Team was leading by about thirteen K. Uh five towers. Yeah. Uh I'd call that a pretty pretty dominating victory, but there was, I mean, there, there was with that team, that one team fight where uh, blue team pretty much, pretty much stomped. Probably. Yeah, they, they with the Sejuani combo with the misfortune. I feel like if they had just gotten a, a couple better engagements, they, they were definitely they were far behind. Yeah, but they could have, they could have done it. Yeah, they could have done it. Even in that last time team fight right at the Baron pit, you saw misfortune take everybody down to half mm-hmm. just, just from the positioning alone. And if Sejuani's ult had stunned more people, I think they would have came out. It'll, even if not on top, so they pretty, they could have done it. They could have done it. it. It was definitely doable. I I still question that Kazix build. I feel like that could have um turned them a little bit more in their favor. Akali he not, did he did pick the Muramana and then he was working on working on his frozen fist. Yeah, he's working on the frozen fist. Akali just not getting the kills you need to as an assassin as an assassin mid. I guess LeBlanc and her just sort of traded. Never never out really allowed the other one to roam, but. LeBlanc just ended up getting those kills in the mid game, which put her put tipped her over the edge. Mm-hmm. And that monster Maokai doing work all over the map at the beginning. Hats off to him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna name him the MVP actually. Yep. MVP of the game, uh, Maokai. Yeah, let's he... do that. Let's do that from now on. Yeah, at the end of the game, we give an MVP okay. to uh, somebody. Yeah. Guess what? First one goes to uh, goes to Maokai. Definitely, yeah. His map presence early game just basically started the snowball, being got getting the successful ganks off top and bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. He went four and zero during laning phase. Five and zero. Five five and zero laning phase before he was finally brought down by I think it was Akali. Um, so that that helped Akali get back in the game, but by by no means was it over for uh purple team or blue team, but at that point, but. As it kept getting out of hand, uh, I definitely looked like it was going to be a purple team victory throughout the entire thing. Yeah, this, the team comp on the um, purple side was just that misfortune was the problem, and we they had two assassins with LeBlanc and Zed. So it's immediately you identify the one person doing all the damage, and then they with two assassins like that, it's hard for her to stay alive. Yeah. So just the team comp and the early early game snowball 
I think is what uh what brought purple on top there. Yeah. Uh point out something we got uh we got Sejuani with a crucible. That's You don't see that. Don't I, see that. I that I might was... be the second or third time I've seen that item ever. You see, I like Crucible on um on certain supports because it gives you another heal and mm-hmm. it basically is a targetable partial QSS. Yeah. It does it works for stuns and slows, I think, but not suppression mm-hmm. and uh, why don't you mouse over that real quick? Uh, yeah, well, we can check that. I forgot we have that feature. Yep. So it removes all stuns, roots, taunts, fears, and silences. So yeah, it any sort of crowd control effects, it'll... Uh, Interesting pick for uh, Sejuani. You know, I think Sejuani saw that she wasn't doing too well in the game. In the, um, no, it was out. I think she saw that Alistair wasn't doing too well and wouldn't be able to pick up anything, so she had to pick that up to help protect their carries. Yeah, because I, th- I think she I think she was seeing what we were seeing, where Misfortune was going to be the person who did the damage, so Misfortune had to stay alive. And mm-hmm. with the two assassins, maybe um, maybe having a crucible with that, that extra heal would help help keep MF that 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 alive that much longer due to the damage that she needed to do. Mm-hmm. But not working too hard or not working too well. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, any more thoughts on this on this game, Cobalt Kicker? Mm, on the game, no. Uh, let's see. Review the casting. Yeah, you know, second time doing this. So how how do you think we did? I. You know, I think we had a little bit better flow the last the last recording. Um, I was kind of sad, sad that the uh, the the audio wasn't working, and now I feel like the audio may not work on this one. But I'm just gonna throw it up anyway because I'm tired of getting. Well, crap. it's just the game audio. We're we're loud and clear. Yeah, we're loud and clear. So that'll I hope. work. I, I hope. I, I think we are. We tested it. <laughs> yeah, we tested it. Um, I, it definitely needs some work. It's a little bit. I think we need a little. We little don't have the play by play. Yeah, we're not, n- n- neither of us are, I-, I have a stutter, I will admit that I have a little bit of a stutter, I'm not very much of a play-by-play person, and then the camera work, I feel like I could, I one of us could uh, learn how to pl- do it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I think not bad for a second time ever doing a games cast, but we're certainly not, you know, DJ Wheat and Day 9, or Jat and Demon, depending on which scene you're thinking about. Overall well, uh, but definitely room for improvement. I mean, I certainly had fun. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, that's, a, I, that's why we're doing this. You know, we're gonna throw it up on YouTube. There's gonna be a thousand trolls saying how bad we are. But you yep. know, we had we we had fun while we're doing it. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Uh, well, hopefully, I'll start getting more of these uh, videos out uh, more often. Uh... School's com- school's coming up. School's just starting Tuesday, so we won't uh, can't promise anything. But we're gonna try to start putting them up, filling up the IGC. Uh, IDC page a little bit with a little bit more League of Legends media. Right now, they're just completely dominated by those MMO guys. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, yep. You want to do? A, want to have an outro where you say this is the IGC blah blah blah. Want to want to try that or is it just something like all right, guys. This has been the IDC League of Legends Gamescast. Thanks for listening. I'm Helix and I'm Cobalt Picker. Thanks for tuning in.